and I know there, uh, I've heard from a lot of folks who I think saw the, the date that was announced, you know, 5 p.m. on Saturday. That doesn't mean that there's a switch that's going to get flipped on at 5 o'clock on Saturday and everybody's power comes on. Uh, I think what they meant by that, and they can explain it more, but at least as I understand it, is they're going to restore people's power as quickly as they can. Uh, but for everybody to be able to prepare accordingly, uh, the most heavily damaged areas should expect to have power back on by 5 o'clock on Saturday. Uh, but they're going to be working uh, around the clock, 24 hours a day, to get everybody's power back on as quickly as possible. And uh, we are providing, as a city government, all the support uh, that we can to make sure that the, the ways are clear for them, that they have a safe environment to work in, to get Tulsa's power uh, restored and back on. And we're working hand in hand here as a team to give them all the support they need to get Tulsa uh, turned back on. Uh, and so on that, I will turn it over uh, to Amy Brown with the Public Service Company of Oklahoma. Thank you, Mayor. I'm Amy Brown, External Affairs Manager for PSO. As the mayor said, the areas of our system with the most extensive damage are expected to be restored by 5 o'clock p.m. this Saturday, June 24th. Outages are concentrated in the Tulsa area and approximately 165,000 customers remain without power. To be clear, we will have crews working in all quadrants of the Tulsa area until power is fully restored. Today, PSO's initial 700 personnel have been joined by more than 2,700 line workers, foresters, assessors, and support personnel from as far away as New Jersey and Delaware. And we just want to say thank you to the Tulsa community for welcoming them and showing them how resilient we are as Tulsans. Um, again, this is in addition to the over 700 PSO personnel who have been working since the storm subsided. Our system had 14 transmission lines and 26 substations, which support the backbone of the grid impacted by the storm. We're also working to repair more than 700 broken poles, cross arms, and downed wires across the metro area. To be clear, this is the most significant restoration effort since the 2007 ice storm. 